Earlier this evening, we documented Nine News anchor Tanya O'Rourke's kidney transplant surgery. Tanya donated her kidney to her sister's sister-in-law, Susan Heydrich Winkler. And Tanya joins us now with more. Yeah, Carol, this was a life-changing operation for Susan and for me. She was in kidney failure and she needed the operation to be able to continue to live her life to the fullest. Tonight, I wanted to show you what happened after the surgery and how Susan is feeling today. Just 24 hours after I came out of surgery, my youngest child, Quinn, and I lay in the hospital bed watching TV. But there's something I need to do. Swollen, a little sore, and definitely medicated. I make my way to see Susan. Holy cow, you're in a chair. I'm in a chair. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. For two women who have just had their yeah, insides yeah. open, we're doing well. And most importantly, my kidney, which Susan named Owen, is now hers. And Owen is working. I'm feeling better, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be climbing mountains anytime soon, but. That's okay. You will eventually. So it's almost four months. Right. And we're back exactly here. We are. How are things? Things are awesome. They're really good. I've been back to work about six weeks. So came back four weeks early. So that's how good the recovery went. Just before the surgery, we visited Susan at her job at the Great Wolf Lodge near Kings Island. She was nervous, but she told us she wasn't feeling so bad. The kidney failure was tolerable. Okay, when we talked the last time we were sitting in the same room, you said to me, I feel great. I feel perfectly fine. I, you know, I, I, I'm really okay. Was it? I lied. Yeah. I lied. Susan didn't want to admit then that her kidney failure was making her literally sick to her stomach. She didn't eat or sleep much. And after waking each morning, spend the next hour or so throwing up. Really? You know, get ready for work, throw up again. I mean, it, it got to the point where it was an almost daily thing. Just with being sick all the time, and if I slept more than two hours at a time, that was a lot. How are things now? How are you feeling? I feel great. I mean, I thought I felt okay before, but three, four weeks after the surgery, when you finally start feeling better, you really notice a difference. You know, just your energy level, you actually start sleeping, you know, you, you can eat and not have to worry about it coming back up. She feels better, she looks better, and one more side effect. My passion for peanut butter is now hers. They laugh at me in, in the kitchen sometimes because they're like, you know, what do you want us to fix you to eat tonight? I'm like, I want peanut butter and celery. And they laugh. <laughs> so they give me this big bowl of peanut butter with celery. So and it's all your fault. Hey. So. That's the price you pay for a kidney. <laughs> I'll take it any day. Susan's first love is the outdoors, hiking, camping. She's looking forward to a hike next weekend her doctors have cleared her for in Hawking Hills and more. I couldn't be better. I couldn't be happier. You know, I'm back to work. I mean, this is my second passion. You know, I'm working out again. So, you know, I'm going to be back on the trails. I'm going to be back climbing mountains and doing everything I love to do. Living your life. Yes. It's not mine. It's yours now. It's ours. I knew this was a good decision even 24 hours after the surgery. I'm really glad I did so, this. So am I. <laughs> I really am. So am I. And I mean it. I'm really glad I did it. And it's really great to see, to see her feeling so well. She's even jovial. And that makes me know that I did the right thing. The morning after my surgery, which you just saw, I was well enough to go home and finish my recovery. It's something I've never regretted. I know I speak for Susan when I say that we appreciated all the calls, the emails, the cards, the Facebook messages from all of you. You lifted our spirits every day. I want you to know, I'm not special. I just happened to be set to say I'd be willing to be tested and I happen to be Susan's match. If becoming a live donor interests you or becoming an organ donor, we have all the information that you need on our website. It's WCPO.com. Carol? Tanya, great story. And, and I'm curious, do you still like peanut butter? Oh, I eat peanut butter every day if I can manage it. Are you kidding me? This is the problem. <laughs> great story. Great sure was. story. Contrary to what she says, she is a true hero. Yes. That is someone Absolutely. who steps up. Yeah, that is wonderful. That's right. Sure is. Okay.